wish I had a fuck bar. Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. So which one of these tables are we screwing on? <laughs> Achievement unlocked. You're bad at this game. <laughs> you goddamn fuck. to that doorway thing because I beat both Craig and Ridley, so I can make my way over to Turian. I guess Turian could be like the, the next episode. The next exciting episode of Metroid Nero Mission. Nero Mission. Where the Emperor Nero must fight his way through Planet Zemus. Doesn't really last very long without a space suit. Yeah, he's kind of fun, honestly. We don't we don't know why we said it. We just didn't really like him. Yeah, he's kind of a dick. Yeah, I can finally kill those things. What the hell is going on? Pounded in the butt by three Metroids. Or four Metroids! By Chuck Tingle, that creature that's laying there dead right now. Yeah. He had to do research for that book, and it was worth it, even though it killed him. <laughs> it sucked the straightness out of my butt. <laughs> With a straw. No. I kind of feel like still playing. Hell, boy, keep going. So, yeah. I'm gonna keep going. This could still be another episode, I guess. But, yeah. whatever. Well, I, through Tori. I say strike while the iron's hot. Make hay while the sun is shining. Watch out for them fucking radioactive donuts. <laughs> That, Glazed yeah, the in the butt by Gay Donuts by Chuck <laughs> Tingle. <laughs> That's an actual yeah. one. I didn't That's... make that one up. That's actually a pretty fun game. Like, just, like, put a bunch of actual Chuck Tingle book titles together with made-up ones yeah. and see if the layperson can guess between the real and the fake ones. They won't be able to, because they'll all sound equally ridiculous. Yeah. Uh, this gun angle problems are gonna be an issue. That sounds to me like excuse making. Man! Look, your, your limited mobility should have no impact whatsoever on your ability. Yeah. Mobility and ability do not begin with the same letters. Therefore, they're not related to each other in any capacity. Damn it. I'm not trying to do that. Okay. I wonder if SpongeBob can catch one of those and make jelly come from its four claw udders. Mm. Metroid. Let's go to sandwich. Metroid Jam. They were putting jelly on hamburgers in that episode. That, I've never tried that before, but I'm certain it's gonna be it would be disgusting. Yeah. Oh, you gotta try this sandwich. No, you don't. It's ground beef and strawberry jelly. Fuck you. It's a good thing these things drop health, because. Losing it. I probably would not be losing this much health, but getting attacked by the next person much. I swear, guys, I swear. This never happens to me. Shut up. Stop laughing. Stop. 
I've played it uh, like a hundred times, man. It's just for performance anxiety. Yeah. I, never, I never performed in front of a crowd before. What are you looking at? Leave me alone! Please subscribe. Reminds me of the Banshee Boardwalk theme from the yeah. Mario Kart. No, I wish it was the Cheap Cheap Beach thing. <laughs> What's that again? Fucking. <laughs> Might as well be. <laughs> uh, Judas Priest, Songsmith. Look that up, viewers. I guess you're waiting your turn. Ah! <laughs> See, you still got me. It's like in action movies where one guy gets attacked by a bunch of guys, but the bunch of guys only attack one at a time. Yeah. The rest of them like form a single file line and wait until the other guys get beaten. <laughs> Where, when if they would just all attack at the same time and dogpile the guy, they could probably fucking beat him. But yeah. no, they just insist on going one on one, hand to hand, like an endurance match. Yeah, it reminds me. Uh, I think it was it was a story uh, Raper told me once. He was playing some 007 game. I don't think it was Goldeneye, but where apparently he was in this like uh, narrow passageway or something, uh, where it was only only like a single file could of guys could show up and so the enemy started coming through and they were right there and he just shot them point blank <laughs> and then another one followed right up behind him shot point blank <laughs> and then it's like <laughs> i think there was one that may have come up and it might have gone back a little and then it was like hey this coast clear no okay i'm going in <laughs> perfect I'm glad you completely stopped playing the game until this Oh, yeah. Well, I gotta, gotta focus for that, man. And I'm sure the viewers are happy, too. Oh, yeah. Well, no, wait. Okay, I gotta farm here, anyway. For Miffles. Because I'm coming up on the big ship. To fight a big old turd in the glass jar. Yeah, they already lost their crea creativity with the boss fights. That's what they're I would argue that they gained creativity. Yeah, baby. <laughs> We're really testing the boundaries of where people will suspend their disbelief in a video game. For instance, did you ever think your own feces would be your worst enemy? <laughs> yes! On many, many occasions. <laughs> but I mean, once it's outside of you. You don't know what they'll do after they're out. They could be, they could go anywhere. Oh, it's true. I can barely take my eyes away from my own shit sometimes. Because I'm worried that it'll sneak up behind me with a knife. Because I swallow a lot of knives, and they wind up completely yeah. intact in my feces. Sometimes I feel like my turns are watching me! People think I'm schizophrenic. And they're probably right. I wonder if, like, there's coprophilia, but I wonder if there's coprophobics. Like, people who really are legitimately, like, afraid of feces. <laughs> yeah, fuck it, I'm gonna go look that up. Getting my laptop. Not much is going on right now here in the game, so... Oh, oh, don't get me wrong, I'm thrilled by the Samus vs. Donut fight of 2017. 
It's intense. Yeah, it fucking looks like it. Damn you, chocolate sprinkles! if I end up dying a couple times in this one, because it gets pretty fucking crazy. Sufferers of coprophobia experience anxiety even though they realize their fear is irrational. They go out of their way to avoid coming into contact with feces, or sometimes even seeing feces. I go out of the way to see feces, personally. Let's see. I, I, I like to put the C in feces. Otherwise, it'd just be fees, and then you'd have to pay them. Yeah. Who wants that? <laughs> that was your luck, at this hair bullshit. up interesting coprophobia stories but yeah th nothing was coming up like the fear just stems from like ew feces is dirty uh, like i was hoping it would be just like people who literally like paranoid yeah think their fucking turds are gonna kill them <laughs> but like every time they take a sh have to take a shit they hold it in for as long as they can until they're like colon bursts or something because they're afraid to let it out they want to unleash the beast like every time I ah unleash the yeah this beast. is always this part is always really difficult. Yeah. It's not even so much mother brain herself. No, I mean she has an attack in this one, unlike in the original game. It's just everything around mother brain. So I'm really surprised if I die a few times here. Really. Um, Swimming around in acid, you might pass lava. Away. It's lava, damn it! It's LSD. Yeah, Samus is high as fuck right now, which explains why she's being attacked by a giant spiky brain and glowing space donuts and ceiling turrets. Trying to get such a limited window to shoot the damn thing. The, the true end of any Metroid game is Samus rocking back and forth in a sick room um, on a planet that's completely just desert with no other life on it. Yeah. 